Hello everybody, welcome to my stream. Today I'm going to go fetch myself some wyvern milk so I can start breeding dragons. Or, not dragons, wyverns. So for that, I built myself this trap. I have a wind turbine here to produce power and one over there. One over here is actually only no to power this keypad. The other one over here is to power these three torrents which are in here. So in case I find an alpha, I can lure him in here and kill him with the torrents. Because he gives 50 milk. Which is a shitload. So basically I'm out of range of the normal elemental attacks of any wyvern over here. With this keypad I can open and close my behemoth gate. As you can see it opens. I can also activate and deactivate my turns which are out there. I deactivate it right now. As you can see, they're on now. So basically, this trap has stone pillars in the front and five behemoth gateways. Here I put them too far apart so I had to put in another set of pillars. And only one of the five gates gets a gate in it. A door. So basically you come in, you fly out with the pterodon at the front, they get stuck at the pillars, you go fly down to the pin pad, um, go Deactivate pin code, which makes, uh, which m enables the gate to close. It's trapped inside. You turn around and you start shooting at it with trank arrows until it's knocked out. You go over there, take the milk out, and chop his head off. I use the sword because I think it's a waste of ammo trying to do it with the auto turns. For alphas, it's a little bit different. You actually have to kill the alphas to get the milk. So that's the basics. Let's go look for a wyvern. So here we have to be slow. Sometimes they pop out out of nowhere. And that can be dangerous. We have to be sure that it's a female because that's the only ones who give milk, obviously. Oh, there's an alpha. I'll come back to kill that later. I don't want to go too far yet because I know sometimes they hide just this, this side of the rocks and then yeah obviously I already got killed. The reason I use a pterodon is I need the speed. The only other flying mount as far as I found out which is able to outrun a wild wyvern is a raised wyvern. It used to be you were able to level up speed on all flyers which is not possible anymore so yeah I need to prepare it on which includes I have to increase the stamina I got it past 600 now um, I have to fly very fairly far and if I 
don't have enough stamina, um, I'm going to die. Because if I land, the dragon's going to kill me like in two bites or something like that. So what I basically do is I fly close enough so I can use the scope to see or not scope, spyglass that's what it's called if it's a male or female then I find a spot where I can land and actually shoot at them with the flint or no wait that's the German word the American or English word would be long net rifle That's a male. We don't want that. That's a female. That one we want. Now we just have to just watch it. If it's too close to other wyverns, it'll also pull them, which results in having more than one. One hit usually is enough. As you can see that was a lightning one. You don't want to get too close to them. Oh, there's one to my left hand up there, which is dangerous. There, the close doors are closing as you can see in the back. Now it's all about tranquilizing. Dragon's down, as you can see, inventory, it has five milk in it now. Don't worry, every wyvern has always five milk in it. Like as I mentioned before, I like to use a sword because it just goes a lot faster. But that's also because my melee damage is quite high. I have it at 270%, which also increased the damage of the sword. So, that's the way you do it. Now just uh, live, die, repeat. Have fun. And um, see you around next time.